Today I'm going to be creating a card with the Your Creative Studio April box set. This is the artist theme box. I haven't opened the box up yet, so I'm really excited to see what all goodies are in here. I'm just going to rip this open. And the paper is really cute. Definitely don't want to throw that away. Everything here looks like it comes in just little pockets. It tells you what it is. We got washi, cling stamps. Look how cute. Look, there's so much ephemera and I am in love with the postage stamps. Look at the little penguins. There's gonna be lots of different papers and stuff in here. Look how cute, very distressed looking. I am loving this whole set. Look at the stamps. And I'm gonna open up all of these stamps. The first set of stamps are so adorable. I love the artistic theme. These stamps are of artist supplies. Some really pretty washi tape and some more fun stamps that are brush elements. Stamps are, they're just a light sticker. This all is so adorable. This is super cute, fun elements. If you're a scrapbooker or have junk journals, card making, these are just so perfect. I have to admit, I am a complete sucker for the postage stamps. I have my great grandmother's postage stamp collection from years and years ago and I love stamps, so these are so adorable. And I think these actually might be stickers. I can use the twine on the packaging. There's so many fun elements and papers in this set. You could use this pocket on a scrapbook page. Cute tissue papers. As I'm going through this stuff, I'm getting more and more excited. Look how cute. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, I have to, I'm laying this out for my card. I want to use that. Look how gorgeous. I already have my piece of craft card die cut out and I used the A2 layer dies to be able to do that. And I used the second layer in the set. I'm just gonna go in with vintage photo from the Tim Holtz distress line. And I'm just gonna ink some around the edges for a really distressed look. And you can go as dark with this as you want to. I really like starting with that light edge and then building it up. These brush daubers are perfect for distressing the edge of your card layers. Really enjoy using the brushes versus the actual foam daubers. And I'm just trying to get some of the areas darker than others. So you'll see a light variation right here going up into the dark. Use this paintbrush from the set. The stamp, once you peel it off, the black is actually on the packaging, so this is what your stamp ends up looking like before you use it. Once my stamp is on my grid block, I'm just gonna go in with the Tim Holtz Vintage Photo and just stamp over top, just like that. And now I'm gonna take my grid block. I think I'm just gonna place it right here and now with good even pressure just stamp that down look how cute i love how that looks super cute and there's different paint accents on here so there is a paint splotch right here and then this is another one that i want to use on the card i already have them placed where i want them on my card so i'm just going to go in with my grid block and pick both of those up. And then I'm gonna just go ahead with my vintage photo and ink those up. It's this right here on the card. I love that, that looks so cute. Now I've positioned the same stamps onto my paper a little differently and I'm just gonna carefully pick those up with my grid block, just like that. Give it a little bit more of a press and now I'm gonna ink these up. Purposely let this overhang off of the side of my card so that it doesn't stamp the whole image. So cute. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my mat. 
my Distress Paint and Picket Fence. And I'm just gonna add a little bit here. Just make sure it's really watery. I'm just gonna go in with my brush. I'm just gonna tap the paint onto the card layer. I'm going to lay down a little bit of salvaged patina onto my mat. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see. I'm gonna place it right in here. You can kind of see where the white is on the mat. Lay it all out right in there. And then I'm gonna spritz it with my continuous mister sprayer. I'm just gonna highlight the edges up in here. So I'm gonna press it down, not all the way. You can see how it's just lightly getting up in there. So I'm trying to carry over some of the blue that's going to be in this. So I'm gonna go down the edge of the card. And now with one of my daubers, I'm just gonna go in and highlight up here a little bit more of the bluish green color. I think it's more of like a, a bluey green. It's really pretty, but I wanna bring more of that just blend it into the card. I'm just going to go over just to give it a little bit of darkness. I love the way the salvage patina just blends in. Got this sheet and I'm laying my card layer on it. From edge to edge, I make my pin marks here and a pin mark there. And that's how I know where my edges are. To take my paper, nothing fancy, and I'm just gonna rip it. Now, if you want your edge to have white on it, rip it back the other way but I want it to look just like that. Now, once I laid this down on my card, I decided I didn't want to go straight to the edge with it. So you can see I left a little bit of a frame around it. Now this top corner, I really like how that's darker up in here. So I want to take it and I just want to rip it and just go a little smaller with it. And then I don't like that piece, so I'm just gonna rip that off. This is one of the stickers from the set and it's very fine. So cute. And I'm gonna apply this to the upper corner. Another one of the stamps that's a sticker. So I'm just gonna peel this off and apply it to my card. I slid some of the stamp under here because my glue isn't quite set yet. So that allows me to put my stamp underneath and I'm just going to adhere that down. I'm just gonna take my scissors and turn it over and I'm just gonna slice off this edge washi tape from the set and I'm just gonna tear off a little piece. Match the edge up to the edge of the cord and just smooth it down. I really want to add some gold accent to this card so I have my scrapbook.com and this kind of leaves like a dotted look. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. That might be hard to show. It's not solid. It comes off in dots. So I have my mink foil go down the side here, just like that. And since this comes off like a blue hue, you can see where it goes. Gold foil. And I'm just going to lay this down and just rub it to transfer the foil onto the card. Very cool. The same thing on this side. I'm even gonna take it on up in here a little bit. 
Hopefully my foil is long enough. Push it on. It adds that little bit extra, so pretty. I already have my A2 card layer made and I just wanna open that up. And now I'm just going to size this up. Go ahead and rip this on across until I get to the corner. This piece, just like that. All right, and now that I have that lined up, I'm just gonna flip it over. And with my pen, because I don't know where my pencil went to, I'm just gonna draw my lines across like my scissors. And I'm just going to cut down through here. I, this is my top side right here. So I'm going to flip it over. And I want glue on every section that isn't the top. So I'm just going around the bottom. Just like that. And adding my glue. I'm going to stick this on the very bottom of the card. I'm going to add a little bit more of the washi. I'm just going to tear. I'm going to put some more at the top. I'm gonna rip that off at the edge. Cute journaling tags. But I want to place these in here and you could actually write to your recipient cute little notes on these instead of actually writing on the main card. But you could write on the main card as well. It's a super cute pocket. For my sentiment, I'm going to be using the Love You. Since this has a little bit of a slick feeling to it, I'm going to be using my favorite ink. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always get notifications on my new content. Don't forget to leave me a like on this video and a comment below what do you think of my card and what's your favorite video on my channel. I love hearing from all of you. Don't forget to go over and check out Your Creative Studio on their website. She has so many creative different boxes and this was just the April 2023 set. I absolutely adore everything that came in this kit. Shorty! Butters.